We in here. Let's get this work. We ain't here. Used to see you at B Street, whooping on Ricardo, about to make a comeback. I'm 16, you think I still got enough time? I'm 26. Hey, bro, I never beat up my man Ricardo. I never used to beat him up, blood. What's happening, Joe Breezy? What's up with C Quiz? I never beat my man Ricardo up. That's my man. But um, you still, anybody got time. It's about what the time you put in a boxing, my G. You gonna put that time in? Is you gonna put the time in? Young Meezy, Wag One. What, 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 bro? Hit the Zell. We getting it turned up real quick in the morning. We just gonna get it turned up real quick. Getting it turned real quick. Just get you get some time for people to get in the live. Let's work. We working. We working. We working. Hit to Zeliante. Listen, man. Uh, Zoo and um, Zoo and Cuz, I think, fighting this weekend. Yeah, I think they fight this weekend on Saturday. On the 30th, if I'm not mistaken, anybody let me know. Zoo and Cuz fight on Thursday. Let me know what that's looking like, what y'all think about that. We got Zoo and Fandora. They're getting that work in on Thursday. Uh, I'm excited to see the fight. I really want to see uh, Roly and Pitbull. I need to see Roly and Pitbull. I'm going to see if Roly improved with Silas. That's who Tio Fimo need to train with. Man, I just checked out that boxing voice from a few days ago. They was on there tripping with you. They say whatever, but when it come... <laughs> hey, bro. Joe Breezy, bro. Hold on. Joe Breezy, I'm about to read what you said, my G. Joe Breeze. Joe Breeze, bro. I'm about to read this because this is what I be saying when I be on these platforms, my G. Like, it, 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 it's just striking. It's a smiting blow to a person's own self when they do shit like that. Just... Just to keep it 100 with you, bro. 
You feel me what I'm saying? Like, that's what they be on, bro. It says, man, I just checked out that boxing voice from a few days ago. They was on there tripping with you. They say whatever, but when you come back at them, oh, Troy, you tripping. LOL, WTF. Now, that's that. See, that's all I'm saying, bro. And when, when you realize that, then that's when you just got to move on, bro. You got to move on because somebody needs a villain, bro. And I'm just on there trying to talk technical boxing and you all here tripping. So, yeah, like, I don't be having time for that, bro. That's why I keep telling y'all I can't. I can't be moving around with them platforms when they be get on there and get to trying to attack because I don't take like all that. I don't like I, it's amusement, but at the time, like you're not going to you doing too much. I'm still a man at the end of the day. And you're doing too much. It says crazy how everything you said about Spence came true and the Charlos when it comes to head movement and adding weapons to your arsenal on the elite boxing on elite level boxing ego was switching up around that time cq you you talking that talk and that, that that's bro we just on here to be truthful about any situation like we're not on here to be playing and joke like we're on here to play and joke but at the same time like i'm not on here to be capping about what be going on in boxing because it leaves the person who's watching at a detriment. They don't know what they're watching. They don't know what they're watching. Then they come on my platform, and then they get to talking crazy because they have no idea what they're watching, bro. None. None. They don't be knowing what they be watching, bro. So it's just it's, it's crazy. What you need... But see, cuz, you need some work. You need to train. I be trying to tell people what's going on in this boxing world. A lot of people like to get in their feelings about this boxing. When you can get your, your head bust, pause. I don't have time for those feelings. You see what I'm saying? I don't have time for that. I'm going to trick you every time. It's different from with me because I'm the illuminated one. I'm the illuminated one. I'm the illuminated one. You feel me? Like, I'm here to bring the light. Yo, it's Hamza. Hamza is the name. Um, it says, yo, I will be in the Bay later this year. Let's train. T.Y., bro, you, you, you. You acting like you don't know that's a thing already. You already know we training. What's good? Hey, listen. Hard body TY is very easy. If you start hitting the Zell now, by the time you get here, the training is already good. The Zell is at the top of the chat. How many sessions you want? If you if you invest now, you can get all those sessions in. You just hit the L. Shout out the word up. What's really good with you, fam a lamb? What is really good with you? Oh, yeah, that's going on. I don't want to be hitting that. I'm going to put that right there. Yeah. We we on here really just to chat about Zoo real quick, and uh, Zoo and Fundora, Roly and um, Pitbull Cruz, 
And just to go over some little brief things of how, you know, the fight's going to turn out technically. And, and and this is the thing. I can't watch any of Roley's old footage because Roley has a new coach and he's working on fundamentals. I will only be able to explain after he's made the set improvements. So then I can say how we used to look and how he looks now with Ishmael Salas. We know what Pit, Pit Bull Cruz is coming with. He's coming straight forward for the work and he's throwing hard shots and he's he's going to be throwing hard, strong shots and he comes forward. He's a pressure fighter, Mexican style. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we know what he come in with. Is he going to bring anything new to the table? It just depends. It's not like you can't teach him anything new. It's just that you have to add new things to his style. It could be a new thing like head movement, even though he doesn't use it. You have to add those things to the man's style because he already got a style coming in. You know what I mean? However he be coming in, just young, young. You know, he be coming in Mexican style working. So once you add up, 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 young, 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 roll, young, young. You got to add that in there and catch him punches. I'm telling you, I'll train, I'll train anybody. He said, Troy, what's good with Aaron? What's good with heavy metal? Is he still boxing? No, he was having concussion issues. He was having concussion issues. I told the nigga to train with me. He kept training with the nigga Chris Lightning. I said, hey, bro, he ain't going to be able to train you. He ain't teaching you. He not adding to your style. Your stance needs to be fixed. You, you don't have a, a strong enough stability in your stance, and it makes you defensively liable. I used to tell him these things. You're not turning your punches up under and over. Listen. I could say that because I used to say it to his face. See, I'm just telling you the truth, my nigga. Just like C. Cuz is in here telling you I used to be, I didn't never used to be whooping Ricardo. Like, we used to be working. Ricardo used to be on my ass for real, hit me with that damn left hook that he had mastered until I learned how to get away from it, jab in the opposite way. Pause. Listen, when you, Ricardo left-handed, if you jabbing with the right, moving this way, he going to walk you with the left hook and it's going to knock you out because he got snap with it. But this is the thing. You got to jab and move the other opposite way towards your left, and then he ain't going to be able to hit you with the right hook. He said, damn, he was a cool dude from the videos. Y'all together was go with the boxing talk. Yeah, bro. No, listen. This this <laughs> I'm I'm about to really get you together, Joe Breezy. Cause I'm noticing a trend with you guys' punches and your jabs that you're throwing at me. Now, you're not throwing jabs at me in a detrimental or a negative way. Like, nigga, why you trying to take a jab at me? You are talking like the jabs you guys are throwing at me are questions for me to teach and to execute. It's a mystery until I turn into my story. And then it becomes his story. Those are bars. I need. Those are bars. Correct. Now listen. You and Ivers. I'm noticing a trend because.
when you mention gold, that gets my attention. Gold on a periodic table is AU. Um, the beginning name, remember, we teach off the chart, my G. Boxing. What's cause his name? Ulcer. Do you see AU in there? Ulcer. Do you see it? It's on the periodic table. You know why it's gold? Because Africa got the most of it. it. It resonates the most electricity. It's non-volatile when it comes to the outside atmosphere. It's the most precious metal. You don't hear talking about crypto. La, la, co history. Crypto when it's gold though. Gold, my G. It's in all electronic. I don't care what other metal they bring up talking about they just found it. That just let me know they trying to get me off what's golden. That's why they come with platinum and no gold, my nigga. Garlic butter honoree in the building. Gold, bro. This is the thing. I'm starting to notice on everybody's platform. From I was on Boxing Voice first as a boxer, a documentary. Oh, y'all didn't know that. Y'all didn't know that. See, y'all bringing that work this morning, asking questions, like doing this. Y'all bringing that, what they be saying, y'all bringing that heat. <laughs> y'all really, really working this morning. I'm about to really, I'm about to really show y'all something. I'm about to really show y'all something because I was on the boxing voice years ago. Recordings just got better. Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. I'm so excited to announce that local recordings are now available on StreamYard. Have you ever done a recording where your guests just have terrible internet issues? They look blurry. I'm doing a lot of punches, even though I can, but I'm more of a defensive oriented boxer. Let's go over some, some boxing voice history. Let's go over some boxing voice history, my G. Garlic butter at its finest. That's what we're here for, right? We're here to break it all down and be truthful about it, right? That's what we hear about, right? I got my grill in. See, I like to give people their peas. This just regular work, like yeah, it was good work, easy work. They kinda little, but you know, they got speed and shit for me to work on. I work on my D a lot. Pause. Pause. No, it's not a flex, like it's not a flex, low. Uh, actually, some guys in the chat was speaking about how I was on the boxing voice, and they could say what they want, but then when I defend myself, it's a problem. So I'm showing them that I was actually on the boxing voice eight, nine years ago. Oh, listen, I, I didn't even know Ness was. I thought 
I didn't even know who the boxing voice was, blood. Not a lot of amateurs. The box. That's why I said like, if me and Ness going back and forth, that's one thing. But random niggas. No, my G. It don't make sense. See, I've been doing this. I've been doing this, bro. Them is four pound gloves, my G. Yeah, like I don't know what niggas be talking about when they be talking about me. See, this this dude trained baby bug. She the best amateur woman in the world. She the best female boxer in the world, bro. If you don't know who baby bug is, look her up. She gonna be undisputed in any weight class she go to and in. She about to be a goat. She come up under me. This man who doing the mitts is the man who train her. How do you think he got good at training her? I train niggas on how to. I tell niggas how to train me, bro. Because you, I'm gonna work you to death. I'm just talking about Ohio, like, this is, this is me on the boxing voice, we just, them the places I boxed at, niggas, is, listen, some of them people I'm naming was trying to shit, some of these people I'm naming was trying to shit. See, I'm I'm really who these niggas trying to be like. <laughs> like, this before niggas was really showing they work. This when niggas was I don't even remember me acting like this and playing like this. This is me playing around for real. I'm a completely different size. I'm I'm practicing with a grill in, bro. No, no, I'm not working for real. Like, I'm literally, I'm just showing you, like, listen, I'm just showing regular work, just talking shit, working, because they never seen this before in Cali. This after I left SFC, working with Kareem, I'm about to turn pro, I'm I'm just playing on the bag. This was a gym for a Muslim cat named Falah. And he used to be uh, at Virgil's sweating everything and holding on everything they be saying. And I used to try to tell him, bro, no, you need to, you need to get your stuff together. And he used to be, act like I used to be at the gym hating. No, nigga, I said Virgil don't know what he doing to me. I'm sorry. He got minimal boxing knowledge. That's why I used to be arguing at their gyms when I used to be there. That's speed. Like, yeah, man. This, this was the boxing voice type shit. This one, they used to call me Buff Blood. Hold on, let me show y'all something y'all ain't never seen. You see them shoes? My man Daquan Mays had me get them. Them called the Do Wins. Them is a Chinese Olympian shoe. Them you don't you ain't gonna never see nobody with them. That listen, that's one video. That that was just I, I that wasn't even a video I was trying to show. 
it was one video they had on here. It was called A Day in a Life. A day, look, I've been I've been on the boxing voice, but this is another video. Troy King responds to the haters. This is my brother, Jug Knight. Like, what's up with Hamza? Assalam. I'm in Hutep. You see, I bet look, these is boxing voice. Niggas been had me on their platforms getting views. 8,000, 25,000, 751, this was nine years ago, oh look, there I go right there, no listen, explain this y'all, explain this corny shit, you see, I'm blaming, I'm gonna blame some of y'all for this, I'm gonna blame some of y'all, cause there ain't no way, look, hold on, Hold on. Ego, 25,000. 8,000. 8,000. Boxing Voice, 751. Ego, I think that say 12,000. Now look. Troy King breakdown video of T.O., 150. What, what's going on, blood? <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? Is that a YouTube problem or is that a chat problem? Hey, blood, you just said his name. Say it again, C-Quiz. Say it again, blood. We teach off the chart, my nigga. Boxing. This is the, the Kabbalah. The Paul Neturu. The house of Allah. <laughs> like, that's what cuz don't get. It be like that sometimes. It ain't a, a cuz. It be like that. Those are bars. I'm golden. So back to what cuz was saying. The trend I keep seeing. See, I didn't forget with the original topic. I'm golden. The trend I keep seeing is when I get in the conversation, that's what makes it golden. Because I'm bringing the knowledge. I come, I'm the Rasta. I come out of the house of the lion. The mammalian brain. Yeah, the most ferocious, nigga. Gorillas is docile. They stay in the jungle. In tropical climates. Nigga, I'm in the desert with a mink on. Tearing shit down. And got niggas coming to see me tear shit down. And niggas know better than to get off the boat. Or to get off the, the, the truck. You And they know better. And they know better than to put their hand in the gate. See, that's the niggas problem, bro. You don't put your fucking hand in the gate when you're dealing with a Leo. You keep putting your fingers in the gate. You don't feed the animals. I come out of the house of the Rasta, the Rastau, the house of the lion, bro, the fifth house, the fifth month, Heru Huti, the general, you know why, because my dad's last name was Walter, in English it's Walter, but it's really Walter. Like Vladimir, because it's spelled with a W. And me and you, the commander of an army. And his name was Leon. A lion commander, bro. Sek is Seker. It's Seker. It's Seker. It's Seker, bro. Sikera is the spirit. It's the spiritual power, bro. It's omnipotence. It's 
Ain't God all powerful? So that that's what they be saying, right? Don't you got the power of God in you? Don't you have all power? Not the magnitude, but the kind. Come on, bro. Yes, Canelo could whoop Benavitez, bro. Like, it's, it's boxing. The, listen, it, everybody keep asking me about Canelo and Benavitez. I'm not answering no more questions until somebody tell me if David Benavitez is so good, how come he didn't stop Caleb like Canelo did? I don't want to hear nothing about holding because when you hit somebody, they can't hold you. You stop them. So what are we talking about? If I hit your chin several times and you trying to hold me and then you drunk... About to no, you ain't no hole in me. <laughs> You're not holding me. I'm hitting your chin. You literally cannot hold me. Ain't that what my New York niggas be saying? You can't hold me, son. What bars you want about some fights? Start asking. You have not because you ask not, my niggas. You have, that's Bible talk. You have not because you ask not. Exactly the same with Boots. He not beating garlic butter bud. That is a bar. That means... You get the garlic butter gang gratuity gift. Because that is a bar. He's clearly not beating garlic butter bud. Sasson. Sofrito. On the lips. Cuerno de Chivo. Cuerno de Chivo style. Sofrito on lips. With Sasson. Sasson rub on the jackfruit. Or on the oyster mushrooms. I'm vegan. Factuals. Hit the zeliante. Because. The fact that. These folks. don't. Not, I'm not saying. David Benavitez Is not going to be trying to pressure. And put certain pressures. On Canelo. Yes. He's young and stupid. You, you don't realize that Canelo has the potential power to stop David Benavitez. He's, Canelo has stopped a 75-pounder before. I can only talk about what actually happened. Now, I'm going to ask these questions. When people are asking you about this David Benavitez thing, you are to say, if he has so many attributes that you feel that he can use, you want the bar, I'm about to give it to you. Pause. If he has so many attributes that you think as a divine being that he can put his test up against Canelo and win, then why couldn't he use that to stop Caleb Plant? Not just beating, to stop the time. Time and space. He gave him no more time and space in there with him. He didn't do it. It went the distance. That really let me know that Caleb is really sweet hands. Like, listen, Caleb Plant is sweet, bro. Suete, siete de boxeo. Cuerno, no, I'm going to repeat that. Suete, siete de boxeo sazon. Garlic butter sazon. Do you hear that? I don't... Listen, bro. David Benavitez was on Caleb Plant's behind. But Caleb Plant 
was pulling moves. Caleb Plant, listen, he is nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Like, watching that fight, like, showing that type of skill set, slickness, hand speed combination, punching and defense, slight inside work. Listen, these film studies, remember how I used to talk about Loma? Do I talk about him like that now? No, I don't. Because... I'm seeing the things that he's doing against these 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 little black kids. You got to beat this nigga to get your just due, bro. And listen, Lomachenko is work for these niggas, bro. Listen, watching him fight Tio lets me know like he know who got power and he know who don't. He let me know that. Tio definitely listened. That's a different animal. But fundamentally, Lomachenko was giving him some issues. And we, we broke that down. We're not going to revisit that. Tim Zhu will beat Sebastian Fundora decisively. I need to see it. Explain it technically. In your words. What is he going to use to do it? It's going to be a chat coming in. What is he using to do it? Well, how is he going to do that? How is that going to happen? See, that's what I'm saying. You got to explain that, how that's going to happen. Loma broke Tio and Devin off in the 12th. No, see, he got to... This is the thing. He, he was really giving... <laughs> listen... That Devin Haney and Loma work was some real high class technical work, bro. Like, and this is the thing, like, he not gonna be able to do those things with Ryan Garcia like that. Because Ryan just too big, bro. Ryan to be bullying him, coming forward, punching and throwing explosive uppercuts. He'll end up stopping cuz. I'm, and then when I be saying that, people be like, man, you tripping, stopping Loma, you trip. I'm, bro, he's, he's big. He's a pause. He can punch. He has a crazy left hook and Loma's left handed. He has a strong jab. Like, it's not a good stylistic matchup for Lomachenko fighting Ryan Garcia. It's just, it's just not. The nigga be doing a lot of moving and all of that. That's not going to do nothing. Ryan is going to hit him and be hitting him hard, bro. This ain't... Ryan is not at 35 no more. He at 40. So think about what I'm saying. Like, Devin is a smaller 35. Devin is really still a 35 pounder. I don't care. He's still a 35 pounder. All these guys is really 35 pounder. That's why we keep talking about them. They just don't know diet. For real. And they don't know what they're supposed to do in there because you got some taller fighters in there fighting shorter fighters coming forward and doing silliness when they're supposed to be boxing off the back foot, using the jab going backwards, punching going backwards, check hooking, pull countering. What do you think these moves for tall people are for? You got to reach up. I'll just pull back. I ain't got to be slipping you. I'm tall. A hook ain't for me. An overhand is. And all I got to do is either step back or pull off and keep my hands up. I'm taller. You got to be reaching up. It makes the punch awkward in the kinesiology of the body and how you trying to. That's why you. That's why in boxing, it's a science. You loop on taller fighters. And then on fighters who throw looping punches, you beat them with straight punches. You beat a straight punch with a loop. See, that's what I'm saying. If you don't know that, how you know to throw it and what to work on while you train it. You asked for bars. You asked, so you have to. Pause. Small amounts of ginkgo.
with that uh nettle leaf. Health tonic. You see what I'm saying? Like it's certain things that I bring to tables when it comes to things, and I am the table. I'm a Leo. I'm a natural. I'm the natural leader of everything. We already know that, nigga. It's the it's the sun. It, it the the Leo sign is the sun. It's star. You know, it's in Aries season. That's like Aries. You know, the sun being Aries. The sun being everything. It's the highest form. Of un like, and a Leo is naturally magnetic. But I'm a man, and my the lunar is an Aquarius, so I can rise up. Aquarius is helium, hot air. He who rises up, Su. The consort to Tefnut, Nu, Tefnut, Tefnut. T E means atoms in essence. Nut. Is the sky moisture, air force. Whoo! That's a bar, my nigga. Air force, bro. High seas. It's water coming out the sky, my nigga. Come on, bro. What are we talking about? Regular things? Netter? <laughs> like, just common sense, bro. Once you know them things about yourself, boxing is just a simple thing. Zoo has to watch them uppercuts for as... No, he doesn't. See, this is why you on the channel. Let me explain to you. A taller man throwing an uppercut is silliness. He should only really be throwing straight punches and hooks. Really, only straight punches. And, and check hook. This should be a simple fight for Fundora. All he got to do is... All he got to do is jab. No, thank you. You asked. Thank you, blood. Um, the crazy part is, Fundora should be only throwing straight punches because he's six six. He should only be right here. And it, from what I'm think, what I see, he left handed. He should be tying up to listen. This what Fundora should be doing. I ain't even gonna stand up. If you wanna listen, if in, if you any time from now on, if you want a demonstration, you gotta hit the Zell. A demonstration is a twenty dollar Zell off of rip, cause I gotta stand up and be exercising. That's a twenty dollar Zell, and that's fair. So I'll sit down and show you. Fundora left handed. He, he his arms are so long. Zeus should never be on the inside. He should be tying up the jab hand like this. Remember we saw pawing the jab. Pawing the jab out there. Flicking the jab because he right-handed. He should be doing this. Soon as Zeus step forward, straight right hand. Andre Ward style. Soon as he try to cut Tommy Hearns. If he get tired, he should start flicking the jab hard. Young, young. Soon as he get in there trying to come in, he got to really be flicking that jab. Young, 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 young. And turning him with the jab. We're talking about regular boxing. No, if somebody want me to do a live commentary for a fight, they got to pay for me to order the fight. So then I can do a live commentary of it. Like, for real, you will have to order the fight. Somebody will have to zail me so I can order the fight. Like, that's what the, if that's what the channel want. See, that's the thing. We got to work this. If you want what you want, you guys in the chat can get together and pay $5 each. And we will order fights and be breaking it down. I'm just saying. I will have to move some equipment. Because this got to go in the um, living room. But. It will have to be in the living room. But. Or we'll have to just. Make an exception and get another TV. 
and get another TV and put it up in this room <laughs> behind this John. Get another TV and put it behind this room. Fundora, it says, Tim got to jab his way in with head movement. He got to close the distance, shorter fighter. Yes, he does. And then, and see, this is the thing. Once you get stopped like Fundora did, you should just automatically be like, hey, listen, I need to improve, improve my boxing skills and my punch selection that I choose to throw on the opponent that I'm fighting. C. Quiz says, Fundora doesn't have a straight left, though. He works mostly on the inside, which is why the last dude knocked him out. My point exactly. Who's coaching him? What are you doing in sparring? Are you saying, did I tell you to do that, bro? Did I tell you to go on the inside and start working? I didn't tell you to do that. Actually, this sparring is just reluctant to you keeping the man on the outside with the jab. The moment you don't do that, you're going to be doing burpees. Go, go dropping your big beat behind down on the ground and doing a push up and do, and getting up off of it. I guarantee you will be done. Keep the man back with the jab. Win the fight. Win the fight. It's that simple. Just win it. Stop trying to be exciting. No, just in the way Fundora can win a fight is by making it boring. And on top of that, he will end up not making it boring because when you got that size and you keep hitting somebody with enough left hands, they're not going to be able to take it. Like you, it's that simple type, Mr. Legacy 7-7. Mr. Legacy, seven to the third. All you got to do is be on the mitt. Jab, jab, right. Or the noodles, pause. Yop, yop, yop. Jab, I want you jabbing backwards. Yop, turn me. Yop, jab backwards. Yop, yop, triple. Yop, double. Yop, yop, four. Yop, yop, double. Yop, yop, yop. You just keep doing it and you create a rhythm. One, uh, double, bang, bang. That's a rhythm. Then triple. Bang, bang, bang. Double. Bang, bang. Jab. Bang. Flick it. Yeah. That's a different rhythm. Once you start doing that, he's going to automatically do it. It don't matter what you say. You don't even got to tell him to do it. I showed you on the video. Didn't I? No spawn. We didn't even spar. We j I muscle member memory my homie with mitts. We we working simple punches. And then one time, one fight, I kept working on catch, block. Because you catching the right hand. You blocking the hook. And then you rolling under. And then you coming with a six, a five, a two, a three. Or a six. And I'm, yeah, no, hold on. You know, catch, block, you roll under. Yeah, six, five, two, three. You just start finishing combinations. Like, I remember I seen dude try to throw some punches. He was like, yup, 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 and tried to come back. I'm like, oh, he doing that catch and counter. We would that really be working? See, you know that when you do the mitts, you can see it. That's why I, my dude, that's why my dude moving, he's slipping. I got it. I'm watching him shadow box. No, don't do that. Go back to the jab, bro. Like that's how I'm shadow. I'm watching him shadow box. I'm like, work, go ahead. Work like this. Keep working. Keep jabbing. Stick the jab up and down. We might be just doing that for the first round. Jabbing head movement. And then the second round, we still not. We jabbing and hooking off the jab. Third round, we jabbing, hooking off of it and going to the body and faint. Fainting and all of that is mandatory. So we're not even going to discuss it. Tyrone, uh, Mr. Legacy to the third, say cultivate to acquire or develop a quality 
sentiment, sentiment, sent. Ment mean mental, senti, or skilled set, Oxford. Factual. It says, garlic butter honoree, the Fandora slash zoo is going to be exciting for Dora known to come forward and Tim known to come forward. Yeah, but Fandora has now been known to go to bed. So logically, we only could say that I can't, well, Somebody let me know how many knockouts Mendoza had. And that'll let me know something. Because Tim Zug, like we discussed, has TKOs, which means the referee has deemed it not safe. It's not because people necessarily can't make the 10 count. So that means he, and then I looked at his power ratio. He ain't got that much power. He ain't got that much power, so it's not like he in there throwing crazy smoke. No, he's not. I'm sorry. He's good boxer though, but that's what I'm saying. If 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 Fundora would just box and get on his bike and really get to moving around, dog, he could do himself so much justice. For future fights, because now you command authority at 54. No, ain't no bug work. Nigga, I'm in here. Tell Bug, come get some of tell garlic butter bug. Come get some of this jab. Come eat this jab. Brian Mendoza. It says legacy to the third say it's like having a cannon. And running forward with it, trying to murk someone. <laughs> ah! When you got the distance advantage, you get slept. Your fault. Reincarnate and learn again. Bars. 22 fights, 16 KOs. Oh, man, Brian Mendoza can. Is that Brian Mendoza's record? And he's definitely punching, brother. <laughs> so him being knocking dude out, it wasn't a. He's punching. Yeah, he punching, bro. Yeah, he punching. He punching, bro. He just, see, the thing is, in the style that Brian Mendoza fight, he's a classical boxer that's a puncher. He's a boxer puncher. So he need time to set you up with the shot so he can snap you because you can see how he be boxing. You know what I'm saying? But Zuby was coming and not giving him a chance to think. And that's why he couldn't do nothing. He couldn't hurt Zoo because he needed to set it up and set a trap. But the fact that Brian Mendoza is a boxer and he's thinking, he knew to hit Cuz with a loopy shot because he kept seeing him drop his hands. I told y'all Mendoza is an issue. Tim made him struggle, though. We're going to see how Fendora lies. I got Mendoza. Mendoza is a good scrapper, blood. Like, um, Q Queer said, Razor Ruddock was a good example of being tall, fighting sharp on the inside, but Fandora doesn't have his sharp selection or, or defense to keep him safe in there. No, it's not just that. So, uh, uh, Q Quiz, C Quiz. Mendoza ain't fighting on on the thirtieth. He ain't scrapping. The thing is with um the thing is when you in the inside blood like you don't if if when you six six there is no inside for you at that weight. I'm sorry that that you you can work on the inside. But y'all, that is to be used as a last measure to let the little nigga know, hey, man, get your young, young, get your little ass up here and be hooking it. That's what that's for, bro. 
You get the yang, man, get your little yang, hitting him with uppercuts. Man, get your yang. You stand tight. You yang. If you're going to use a short uppy, yang, 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 yang. You hit him with little short shots. You jucking and moving and slipping, pulling it, yang. Stepping back off that. There's no time that you in the inside bending over. What are you doing? You bend your knees. And then if you 6'6", six, six, you're going to bend your knees down to Brian Mendoza. That's going to make you tired. You don't need to do all that. That's overcompensating for what you need to be doing. Because you're supposed to be on your Alicia. And I ain't talking about your Alicia, the, the, the Prophet Muhammad's wife. I'm talking Aisha. I'm talking about your Ali Ishnai. You're supposed to be floating. You're on your Ali. <laughs> You're supposed to be. Fandora's supposed to be in there floating, bro. What are you doing? That's I don't I don't know if you ever watched Ali or do he want to get paid? Do you want to be the best? That that's when I don't I I I'm not that person. So I can't tell you. The totality of what they're thinking, I can only go off what I see what they do in these fights. And what they do is stupidity. He should be literally on his Ali because when you do that, you stand out of harm's way from a puncher with a 72% knockout ratio named Brian Mendoza. Come on, bro. He mean he's not going to fight. He going to box. It's a difference. Yeah, bro. He be in there trying to get on the inside and do. If you going to get on the inside with that man, you need to be bending your knees, bro. And that's just final. And that that's too much for too much on the legs of a uh, fighter with that height. I'm just being honest. You don't need to be. that. That's why. This, you need to, it's okay to have the inside work. And it's good that Fundora has that. But to be in the inside with his height is for more than three rounds in any fight is too much. Because you're too tall for that. At any time, if you watch Floyd, a jab, a check hook, and a pull counter, and jab, and listen... Let me put my hat back on. Because what I'm about to say is going to blaze you. Listen. Why is Fendora not jabbing hard to the body like Floyd Mayweather? I mean, he should be on the bag throwing a thousand of those. I th Listen, I'm going to say it again because I don't think y'all hear me. Fundora should be on a bag throwing a thousand jabs to the body because that when you tall, that's un you can't do nothing with that dog. Excuse me, and to keep people at bay. Coincidence? I think not. I don't think it's a coincidence either. Because when you really think about how Floyd ma mastered the style and the jab to the body with the Mayweather defense, you got to understand why it worked. It worked because, one, you're going to the body. Two, you're jabbing. You see what I'm saying? I'm, listen, I'm going to say it again. It works because, one, you're going to the body. Now, I'm going to rewind a little bit. I'm going to rewind a little bit. The person who put this in effect in this era of boxing, to keep it simple, is Floyd Mayweather. The hard stick to the jab. I mean a hard jab or stick to the guts. Pause. Very important. Very important for the totality of doing anything in boxing. That is the main purpose of boxing. Go into the body to break him down. If you hit the body, the chin will fall. That's why he's saying if you hit the body and it hurt him, the chin still go to the ground with the punch. 
And you ain't hit the chin. I don't know what y'all think they mean by that. It's a sweet set it. Set it. If Fandora has straights to the body and head game like Floyd, he be untouchable. And that's not even mentioning a check hook or a step back game like Crawford when he pulls pulls you in to garlic butter. That's my point. That is my point, my friends. Like, who is training these jokers? And before he go to bed, he gonna sleep with it. <laughs> I really want to cultivate it. <laughs> yeah, bro, like, you just gotta be doing better, like, with your... And this is the thing. It's simple boxing traditions. You do not try to create something different it's called the science. It's already be, been put in order. It's the number four. It's already been put in order. Correct. You, excuse me, then in turn, get in the ring and get out of order by trying to fight a man 5'9", five, 5'10", five, in his range, which is the short range, which exposes your chin, and not only throwing uppercuts from too far out, which gets you hit you with hooks. That's it. You get hit with hooks when you throw an uppercuts from too far out. That's called being in the zone. Boa Chuck City versus Mendoza Bryan is on my bookie. Did they cancel the fight? I don't know, Rocket. Somebody said they not fighting. Brian ain't fighting. That's what Garlic Butter Honoree said. They ain't scrapping, bro. I don't know what's going on. Some clown stuff. And he probably was like, no, I don't want to fight that pressure style again. Two times in a row, they trying to hold me out. I'm not a clown. <laughs> He listen, I'm telling you. He like, no, y'all not about to get me. He was like, wait a minute. Boa Chuck be putting more pressure. I'm not about to do that again. Count me out. <laughs> Count me out, buddy. Count me out. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here with it. That's what he was saying. I'm telling you. All right, so... We don't know if it's happening. He said, no, I said he not fighting the guy. Not that he not fighting, bro, bro. Oh, yeah, well, he ain't fighting cuz. <laughs> he definitely, well, that explains it like I was just saying. He not, I, I kind of just explained that by saying he probably don't want to fight that pressure style again. So that's why he ain't fighting Boha Chuck. Or Boha Chuck ain't fighting. Well, Brian Mendoza doesn't just be fighting. He's a boxer puncher. No, he is a boxer puncher. As soon as I seen him fight and then you told me his record, I'm like, oh, no, Cuz is definitely a boxer puncher. He's definitely a boxer puncher. I just thought about something I need to get done real quick before I forget. Before I forget, buddy. Yeah, my G. Yeah, y'all got to understand that, like, cuz, you, you throwing uppercuts too far out from the door, you're going to get your head bust. You can't be doing that, you know, to stay on topic. Those are the selection of punches you don't want to be throwing because that'll get your head bust. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do that like that. It's not smart. It's not smart, buddy. 
I need to get my stamp. While I'm talking to y'all, I got to get work done too. Start keep asking with the questions. Canelo pulling the Floyd move, Mungia, same height as Benavitez, and similar A hey, quiz. I'm telling you. <laughs> quiz. I ain't telling you, buddy. Quizzers. Quizzers. Quiz. Listen to what I'm saying. Quiz. Listen to what I'm saying. Trust. You got to believe in it. You see that? It's not a game. Like, that's a fact, my G. That's a fact, my G. And then when he do it and he get the money, I don't want to hear it. Defense built into your offense. Absolutely, buddy. The defense is built in when you throw the punches correctly, period. When you throw the punches correctly, it's, it's built in. Those are factuals. People don't be knowing how to throw their punches correctly. People don't be knowing how to throw them punches correctly, buddy. Man, you got to be hitting people with paperwork and stuff. They be bugging. It's definitely going to get one. What did he say? D yeah. So, you know, just think about some of the things we talked about today. Because it's serious. It's definitely serious. The pack will be busted if you don't get it together. You feel me? So, those are the things that I start seeing in the Mendoza John and different scraps because. Niggas will be getting their packs busted. Real talk. Like, it's certain punches you can't be throwing. There's certain punches you can't be throwing in there. You can't be throwing them. Because when you throw them, and when you get hit, they gonna, um, you're going to be hurt. Especially uppercuts as a taller man because the uppercut, you need to be bending your knees to get down up under the chin, my G. You know what I'm saying? You got to be bending your knees with the uppy. Put something on this one too, my geniuses. Let's stop playing with these Negroes. But yeah, man. What do y'all think about? Well, who are Brian Mendoza fighting? Your legacy, what your bars on the Roley versus Pitbull fight. Um, what you see in the ring. Oh yeah, L legacy. What's your bars on? What your what you think about the Pitbull scrap leg? Like, what we all think of... Now, listen. I'm going to say this, and I hope you guys take my words pretty serious. Uh, Roley's going to look like a different fighter. Okay? I'm letting you know now, buddy. Ishmael Salas is not like a joke. <laughs> no.
not at all, buddy. He's not a joke. So, I, I want to see what Roley looking like. That's why I talked about it earlier. We know what Pit Bull is coming to do. And it's slightly tailor-made for a man named Rolando Romero. It's, it's for real is, bro. It for real is. Facts. Hit the Zell. We doing, listen, we doing Zell now. The Zell is free. Tax free and you can write it off on your taxes. This is school, buddy. Boxing school, one on one. Gotta have your paperwork right. So yeah, those are factuals. You got to really understand like Roly, I'm really intrigued because Pitbull, and you know what the crazy thing is? We're going to see how quick Roley can think because Pitbull, but you know what? I will say this. If Roley hit Pitbull hard enough, he could detour Pitbull from wanting to come in at that pace. It really just depends, dog. Being honest. It depends on how Roley, how, how clean Roley could catch him. Roley like, dog, listen, I'm about to knock dude out. I'm about to knock. He's going to bed. He was like, listen, you can say whatever you want. He's going to bed. That I I, I can't say that I kind of don't believe it. I don't know it. Due to the how Pitbull chooses to scrap. Pitbull chooses to fight like that. And Roley is a puncher. I don't like Roly be throwing hard shots. And Ishmael Salas is good at working with punchers and giving them technical, technical attributes. That is a fact. Definitely good at it. So that's 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 gonna be something different, dog. Definitely need to see it. It's really going to be something different because now Roly going to be looking different. He's going to be boxing different. I'm telling you, a lot of the stuff you, we seen Roly doing is not going to be the same with how he's going to be looking. Because Ishmael Salas be watching everything. He watch how you shadow box. He don't, he, don't, he don't play. He come from the Cuban school, Roly Cuban. They really about to be in there getting some decent work in, bro. I'm telling you. It really is. It's going to be some decent work. I'm really excited about that fight. I want to see the highlights. But then again, like I said, Pitbull can get, can get off and catch Roley with a shot. Pitbull can catch Roley with a shot. He could, he could catch him with a shot and ring that butt time. You see what I'm saying? He could he could literally catch him and hurt him. So we need to see because it's an intriguing fight. What weight is it at? 140? Anybody know the weight? Anybody know the weight of the scrappy? Anybody know the weight? 
is at 140. Is they at 140? 135? Yeah, I want to see this. this. That's going to be a good scrap. Good looking garlic butter. That's going to be a good scrap. I want to see it. I'm intrigued to see that. I'm intrigued to see that scrap because I want to see if Roly is looking like a Rolando. If he's looking like a Rolando. You know what I'm saying? So, especially with Ishmael. Ishmael, one of my favorite coaches. He's a good coach. He's definitely a good coach. He's definitely a good coach. What y'all think about Ishmaeli? And what do, do y'all... Um, logically, what would y'all put together about Roley at this point in his career, y'all? He's has he's matured. You know what I mean? He really about to get some work. He still could talk his ish though with his that lisp. That lisp is so weak. <laughs> that lisp is so weak. That lisp is weak, buddy. He gotta see a speech therapist. You get that lisp together. That sounds crazy. Gotta hit your presentment with some stamps. What do y'all, um, Roley was getting his behind whooped, his ass whooped by Amazonian elder. I think he got lucky blessed out of Wally. No, I heard the dude be got heavy punches though. Like heavy punches will get you that, that if you underestimate somebody, then they crack that head. You be like, man, I ain't never been hit that hard, bro. That was real. Like, that's all. I mean, I don't think he gonna take Pitbull like he took that old man. Y'all could tell me, but I don't think he gonna do that. Cause Pitbull will definitely get you out of here if you playing, bro. He coming straight to you and he's working. If you're not ready to throw nothing back, you're gone, buddy. If you're not ready to throw nothing back, you are going to be gone. That's a fact. Listen, when you make sure you do these bills, when they send you these bills, you got to make sure they say minus on these bills. Like... I got a question for y'all. I got a question for y'all real quick. I to, I'm gonna answer this question, and then I want y'all to. I'm gonna y'all gotta answer me a question. It says Guillermo Guillermo Rigondeaux, Jorge Linares, Yuriokis Gamboa, your Danis Ugas, to name a few. Silas fight heavy document document trainers. Yeah, he he got some. That's what I'm saying. I don't, that's why I want to see Roley because. He done dealt with some, some guys. But I got a question to ask you. Listen, if you take money out your account, right, don't you always see a negative balance? I'm just asking a question. When you take money out your account, don't you always see a negative balance? 
Yeah, blood, yes. All right. That means you have to do what? Put money in it to balance it. Am I telling the truth? At, answer the question. This is, hey, listen, this is bar. This is a bar. This is a bar. Correct. Why, when they send you an electric bill, a bill for a car payment, before we get to that, how do you know the balance is negative? Answer that. How do you know that the balance is negative? Somebody answer that, please. How do we know it's negative? How do we know we got to put the money back in the bank? No, keep work, keep going. How do you know that the how do you know it's negative? How do you know it's an overdraft fee? What what number what about it is telling you it's an overdraft? This I know y'all kind of Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. It's a negative sign. This is elementary school, a minus sign. Have, when they send you these bills for cars or electricity or anything. No, because they never in school, you don't have to put a positive sign by a number to let you know it's positive. Is that correct? Before we move on, is that correct? You only have to put a net. All right, then. So why when you get a bill in the mail, a presentment, it doesn't have a negative sign saying that you need to put money into that account? If we're talking about regular banking, They sending you bills and presentments, but there's never a negative sign. But if you overdraft your account personally, it's going to be a negative sign on there. Bro, what are you talking about? Y'all probably thought I was froze. I wasn't. They sending you bills. They sending you no, you don't when you get a bill in the mail, it don't have no negative sign. It's a positive number. Now, if it's a positive number cuz there's no negative sign. See, look, look at this bill for for my car. You see this? I put a negative sign on there. You know why? Because I'm telling you, you're holding money at Capital One and I need it. You're holding money at Capital One and I need it back. Because they're telling me there was a loan that I took out to get a car. And they're sending me the bill saying we need to get this loan out. They're, they're not sending it saying you need to pay it. Look, this proves it right here. Look, you see where it say late fees? You see how it's negative? You see that? You see the number at the top? I put negatives on them. No, you using and abusing yourself. It's not they. They sent you a thing. Look, this is an account number. It's an account number, bro. It says it. Account number. How many digits is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Vehicle. 
It's past due. They were supposed to pass Ben give me this loan. They were supposed to Ben give me this loan, dog. You know what I was doing? I was paying into the loan, creating more debt. Because when they sent me this, there was negative, never a negative sign on this saying pay it. It just says principal balance, pay off amount, pay off good through. This is not telling me to pay anything on here. I don't see nothing on here telling me I got to pay this. This says payment due date. That don't say I have to pay it. It just say payment due date. Yes, it's the access of what is due. Because when you take out a, when you go to get a car from a dealership and a vendor, they take your social security, they put it on the application, and then they auction you out to a bank. The bank say, I'll cover his loan. I'll go in his social security and get the, and get the, uh, the funds. That's called creating a security. Once they create the security, the Federal Reserve send the money to Capital One and hold it for you. And then they telling you, get the loan. Get it. Take it from the bank. Once you take the loan from the bank, the loan is gone. So you saying you just waiting for them to collection, folks. To ask you for it. No. I'm taking this bill. And I'm writing. An endorsement on it. Putting information on here. And listen. If you do anything with the numbers. The feds is coming. So it's only if you want to be playing. And doing silly shit. It's on you. The feds will come back. Listen they will bag you for fucking with these numbers. Once you put a negative sign on here, you telling them, hey, no, I need that money back. You, and you endorse it. You saying, I accept that for the value. Send me the money. Release it. Release it to me. And then you put that, that deposit seat with it. Hey, yeah, release that money to me, bank. Bud versus Boots was crazy. What, what crazy. What's no, that's not a crazy fight. A negative balance that is negative indicates that deposits have been depleted and at the top of the account is needed. It says depleted and a top off to the account is needed. Yeah, you got to take your money back. They got too much money. You, you asked them to give, it's a loan you took out in your name. The bank took out the loan in your name, bro, with your social. And they're holding the money at the jaw for you. You paid the vendor a thousand for the car, that go in his pocket. And it's owed to you. I got the lease from my car. When you pay a down payment on the car, you put yourself in more debt. Oyster mushrooms is crazy with the sasson. I'm telling you. Oyster mushrooms is crazy with the sasson. Like, this is what I'm saying, bro. Y'all, y'all gotta understand this banking. Is y'all be confused. Like, this is a bond, bro. Between me, a bank and in Toyota and a vendor who's selling Toyotas. This is you gotta understand that, bro. These are bills, presentment. You got to know how to endorse them and send them back and say, hey, I need that. You holding my money in this account. You holding my bread. How It say right here, don't say I owe anything. It says account status is past due. To who? Exactly. To who is this account due to? It don't say... Troy, it just got my address on here. It says, we can help you get your account back on track and help avoid potential late fees. Listen, every time you get a late fee, they add interest 
to your to your jaw. It says, Big Homie, do you think Canelo should have another fight against Plant in the future? Absolutely not. Be until Plant learn how to get inside work. No, you can't get in there with Plant until Plant get inside work. Plant got to get inside work first, dog. He got to. He got to get inside work. They got three days. No, you know what? I got this. I'm going to be calling. And be like, why didn't you release them funds? No, who is this going to? I just going to Capital One. These are supposed to be going to the Fed. What do I got so much? Oh, you know what? They better get it together. They better get it together. That's gonna go right there. That shit ready to go. It says, yeah, I think, um, no, I don't think they should fight again until Plant gets some better inside work because he 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 gets frustrated on the inside. He gotta bend his knees a little bit more and um learn how to work on that inside. For real. And this is the thing. He ain't gotta throw all them combinations on the inside. You throw one or two hard shots and and get back on your defense real quick. And then take an angle, one or two hard shots, then you come up out of there. It's just learning how to be in the inside and be comfortable. That's what the thing is. People don't be comfortable in there. Once they do a couple moves and the nigga start touching you, then you be trying to get out. No, that you're going to get touched on the inside because you're inside. You're working inside. You're in a range where he could touch you, you could touch him if you, know, if you don't know how to weather those. You got to weather them little moves and stuff. That's all. It's not a, even a big issue. You just got to learn how to weather some of the moves. You got to. Yeah, that's enough of this today. We'll be back later on today. Hey, man, hit that Zelle or that Cash app. Um, make sure it's the law of the four. It's, the, it's my op season. God needs you in order, bro, to come into the world. It's my hot season. God needs you in order to come into the world. Fulfilling. Everything else is chess. Got to understand the opponent's mental language. Yeah, in all facts. God needs you in, the, in order to come into the world. Fulfilling God's need is the highest act of love. And only through your love for Netar Allah, God, the creator, can you fulfill the love for others, become the love of God in the world for protection of the world. The, the law of Ma'at is about loving order. Loving order. Loving the order of God. Truth, law, love, order, Injustice. You got to be on that, dog. You got to be on it. All right? Think about that when y'all out here. You got to be on that. Truth, law, love, justice, and order. Stamps, negatives. You never seen a negative sign on the bill. You never seen it. You never seen it. You never seen it. They don't be having it.